Started recording. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Hype Train here on Pastige of Skin. I've got Will here again. Hi hey guys, Hype Train, motherfuckers! I can't get rid of him. No. <laughs> Couldn't replace me. Couldn't replace anyone before me. Yeah. And we actually have our Fact Finder Fergal here as well. Probably more useful than him anyway, yep. so we'll see how that works. <laughs> We keep, so, him, we keep him off screen. Cause... We've got... Yeah, it's true, because it'd be, it'd be wrong to actually make the, you all fall in love with him instantly, because he's so useful. Uh, we've got a problem. A trailer dropped today. Yes. We were trying to get a video for this a oh, lot earlier on, on, but we ran into so many technical <laughs> difficulties. Uh, if you might notice on the Twitter feeds and everything else, me just shouting and crying and screaming about things being broken, we managed to solve the problem, as you can see. So uh, with a little bit of a workaround, we've got everything up and running, and we're going to be checking out the new Thor trailer that dropped today. Yes, I'm looking forward to this because I've seen just the preview images hmm. when you're scrolling down through videos. Like, we've got to see this, we've got to see this. Unfortunately, everything we were doing to get to view this, to make this video, was broken. <laughs> broken! So, so hard broken. broken. But resolved, fixed, and solved. And, um, yeah, so essentially, like, we're going to see the end of Thor. It could be the end of us. It could be the end of the show if all the gear was broken. So, the, we could have been our Ragnarok, but we didn't have it today. No. Not today. Not today. Take it, Kit Blanchett. You take that. <laughs> So, do you want to throw on the trailer? Let's yes. give it a check out. Yes. Uh, happy days. <sighs> Finally. So. Ah, awesome. It's a uh, Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Look, it's so Cirque du Soleil. I mean, I actually think I saw that on stage last time I saw it in Belfast. Well, admittedly, I was on Mushrooms at the time. Oh, it's Kate Blanchett. Well. Oh, that was. Well, it's kind of disappointing to see that happen. She can control his, she can control the tip of his hammer. Jesus! What the fuck? Okay, the destruction of Molnir? Yeah, man. You, you do realize we'll probably get cancelled if we actually have that. Oh yeah, 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 so yeah, we have yeah. to actually talk over. Oh yeah, we'll have to talk. <laughs> Not our fault. So she's playing. This is Hella. Music. So essentially, Hella has come. Um, so literally, Hell has come for Ragnarok. Hey, finally, Thor with spatial aliens and you know. Serenity and shit. It makes it, it's going to connect it so much more to uh, Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy, Galaxy as well. But this makes so much sense because um, with the destruction of Molnir, the only other weapon that kind of oh, nice. Just because she could destroy. Oh come oh, on! Very Guardians of the Galaxy logo as well. Couldn't be any more Guardians of the Galaxy if it tried. Yeah. Woo! Dun, 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 dun. I think part and parcel is because of the change of directors. They uh, I see. Yeah. Love it. Actually, yeah, I'm loving it. It's a good choice too, oh, in terms yeah. of like the long hair look wasn't really working. What and the f oh, Cyber thank Thor. God for that! I was like, "What the hell was that about?" As uh, a helmet. Now this, this is gonna be who like it is. Yep. Couldn't wait till the fucking door opens. Yeah. Really. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's so happy. He's a friend from work. Bang. For <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Oh, perfect! That was awesome. That is absolutely fucking awesome. That is, that is perfect. Uh, she's just gonna cancel the trailer, bring up the or replay it, and go back over the top of it. Um, I'm just gonna actually probably take the audio down while we actually talk about it. Um, you just let it play. Interesting it little sort of you know. Man, like Cirque du Soleil, right, as you said it was. So yeah, Cirque du Soleil started. Thank you, because I fucked that up oh, so bad there. There's so much, so much going on in that trailer that I actually kind of excited to see about. Um, awesome. What the shit? That that looks like it's on the streets, uh, the back alleys of fucking streets of New York City. Like, where, where's Doctor Strange? Well, I mean, essentially, I don't know if that's... That's New York. Yeah, it is New York, so essentially, yeah, he's on Earth, whenever that happens. Yep. Um, imagine, essentially, one of the things where they come Hela and the people that are going to destroy Asgard are coming for him. From there. We... See, it makes me look to think that's Lady Loki. Hmm. Which... Is like essentially Loki came back as a girl. That's the reason why we have Slifnir, because essentially Odin had sex with Loki and created a horse. Stop! Don't need it. <laughs> nope. Don't need to don't read that. Know about that. I don't need to read into that any more than it. You know, the, the Asgardian uh, gods really were just like they raped and pillaged. I feel like the the, the bit where they put them in the chair. I'm just waiting for someone to come along and do like a <laughs> Star Lord thing to that. You know, meme the shit out of that. What? Where yeah, he's like strapped in the chair, like the guards around him. They just go. This is Star Lord, you know Thor. Oh, do, 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 do. the information and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then just Thor go. Do, 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 do. See, it's just all of this makes me think. Like of... how, what, how long? Like, I mean, look at the. He's got hair's gone, and is his facial hair more there? Yeah, yeah. Um, essentially, there's a lot of reasons for these like minor visual changes on him oh, and yeah. the location and the technology. 
<laughs> That's such a good payoff. Chris Hemsworth, we want you to be you in this scene. Yes! So happy to see my friends. Nobody, Nobody's happy to see their friends from work. Uh, well, if you're holding well, Bing Green. Yeah. If you're friends from Bing Green, pause it there. Pause it there quickly before we lose the logo. Perfect. That's what I wanted to actually freeze for one, actually. <laughs> so we could talk about the show ad infinitum at length. I do like the fact that the, the logo just... Comes in like a fucking like Star Trek, like a warp drive. It looks like a Star Trek. Couldn't logo. be it's, any more like space like. Uh, it's essentially it's intentionally like retro, like essentially it's eighties or early mid seventies, early eighties kind of like sci fi space story. The dream. I mean, I have a, which I've, works for a space opera. That's essentially what these fucking yeah, stories were. Being I, I have a I have a cassette game for my Amstrad. That has that same font. That has that has the exact same font for like Robocop versus Terminator. Do you know the reason why? It's because the same font that was used for the company called Psychosis back in the day, which was the one with the oil and had like the stripe lines, kind of like the Ryan logo in movies as well. Plus, I've I, I've used that <coughs> I've used that font and that font style so many times in technology classes, <laughs> like fifteen years ago. Either you know, Microsoft. Mic- oh, was it was it Microsoft Word clipart or was it actually Paint clipart that had that? Uh, it would have been Microsoft uh, Office clipart of some sort. But it's something like it. It was fucking class. But it's, it's with that kind of like font, something makes me think of a metal album as well. It's essentially like a metal band. Kind oh of yeah, well. pretty that's much. What, that's what font is. Thor, heavy metal. Blah, 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 blah. But right, so remember the original Thor? Um, it was oh, who was the guy? That, who was it directed? Because he was well known for doing like the movie versions um, of. Uh, Kenneth Hamlet. Branagh Kenneth Branagh Kenneth Branagh the uh, classical stage actor <laughs> sure fuck yeah. you Fergal <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got there before him uh, Kenneth Branagh brought a lot of kind of like kind of a respectful kind of like period fight feel to the original Thor movie it was one of those films that actually uh, it had to get all the mystical stuff to make kind of sense mm. while actually kind of keep itself reasonably serious Oh, and still having its funny moments but essentially like that that movie managed to sell the idea of Thor and the Asgardians and their world Perfectly fine. Yep. This is a big change because this is post Guardians of the Galaxy. Now we're putting them into the rest of the universe. We're putting them into the more sci fi setting. We need, we need to get them. We need to put them. Uh, we need to put them into, into space. Yeah. So you they know? went the same angle as they did with Guardians of the Galaxy and just went. Let's let, let, let's just make this into a, let's make this into a Flash Gordon movie. <laughs> that wouldn't be a bad thing actually. Yeah, I mean, and this it is, does have that sort of. Does even the theme tune actually? You know, gives it sort of upbeat and sort of Queen esque thing to it. Yeah, so it's essentially like they're, they're making a Flash Gordon movie with a Thor movie. So uh, plot wise, do you want to hear? Because I've got a, I've got so much to say out of what's actually shown in that trailer already. Yeah, sure, go for yeah. it. I mean, from what I've seen, uh, the making off or not the making off, but like behind the scenes stuff has been released before. Like, you know, I know enough stuff. Like uh, even from Doctor S- Doctor Strange at the end of Doctor Strange uh, after after seeing credits where yeah, the monster reward was they're gonna be they're gonna be looking for odin and shit all right well essentially he's looking for i'm looking for my brother yes and uh he said he said he would help him find his brother which probably leads into why he's in new york and what happens to him with more in here and that's actually reason why that event's happening at that point in the movie but then of course we see loki much later on uh, during a battle scene and then what looks to appear a lot later on in the story with him with a shortened down hair in battle garb doing his best impression of maximus decimus meridius um, yep. the against the Hulk, <laughs> that as like they've taken the Ragnarok story. I think it would have been cool if actually at one point he just turned around and goes, "Are you not entertained?" I just want to see that. I'm pretty sure the Hulk's going to say that line. Uh, actually, <laughs> that would be cool. It's a very good reference. Uh, but the tail end of that story, what's happening with him on that planet on the war planet and stuff? Mm. That is actually part of the Planet Hulk storyline from the, the Marvel comics. Only, I mean, I've read about the Planet Hulk storyline a few times mm. thanks to wikipedia and marvel's wikipedia and marvel's you website got the no? condensed version of the story yeah, i get the condensed the down version the, the one without pictures uh which is for me is you know still a sound like a through. brilliant story but like i've watched the world war hulk animated movie the planet hulk World War uh, planet, planet movie. hulk yeah and i i actually loved that i absolutely enjoyed watching the hell out of that yeah, it was one of the better Marvel animated features. It really was super entertaining. And a lot of... Like, essentially, that was a very good representation of what happened. But do you remember the fight with a guy that looked like he was dressed like the Th- like Thor? Oh, Better Ray Bill. Better Ray Bill, yeah. Better Ray Bill. So literally, they've taken the Better Ray Bill fight and put Hulk... Or put Thor versus Hulk directly. <laughs> which implies... I'm just looking at the equipment and stuff. Maybe he has Stormbringer. He has Beta Ray Bill's weapon instead of Mjolnir because Mjolnir's got blown into shit. Yeah, what? Because that's the, what Stormbringer, what's, Stormbringer what's, was literally the sister weapon to Mjolnir. Like how do you comics. how do you fucking destroy Thor's hammer like that by just touching it? 
Hey, uh, the person is uh, probably unbelievably powerful. Remember, all Asgardian technology is is just technology that people don't understand. So literally, somebody actually of like a more powerful and understands technology can break a, break a machine. It's a magical. It's a magical machine. Oh, fair enough. So they are trying to think ground uh, Thorn and his sort of Asgardian ways as you know. To make sense, godlike. Yeah, make it. Yeah, pretty much. Because like they have a huge lifespan and their technology is so far advanced, it is pretty much magic to That's, us. He uses that line in the first film, essentially like a or like essentially. Yes, like, Jane. What you call science, we would. What you call magic, we would call science. And yeah. draws and the map a, of the seven fucking worlds and makes it science. So in fact, I'm trying to remember the name there because it actually is like any any technology that is so far advanced is completely uh, is indistinguishable from magic. Can't remember who it was that said that. But that's the, address, the original quote that he was kind of like making a reference I to. I know it's been quoted in Stargate, uh, which uh, did yeah. base a lot of uh, their, some of the alien stuff in that on uh, uh, Norse mythology. Aye. So there was a Thor in it, and there was such there was Merlin, who was an ancient all Yeah, so they said, so said it was all aliens, it was just all yeah. advanced technology, the, the, the magical things. So speaking of Thor Ragnarok, they really heavily... Leading themselves towards making this like Hulk's in this film. Oh yeah, like he is like this is you know kids love the Hulk. Doesn't matter if he's doom, he's the bad guy or good guy. They love him. Oh, he smashes shit. Love it the bits. Yeah, one of the most entertaining characters in the original movie, mm. original Avengers movies. But um, and obviously, the we're, too. obviously, we're not going to get Hulk solo again because I think isn't that he's still one of the characters that's owned by an external company. Yeah, he's owned by so... an external company unless that changes. Uh, well, I mean, essentially, like, it's one of those part agreements where they said he can be part of Avengers, but he can't have a solo film. Yep. So is this their back door to actually giving him a solo film? Is this going to be very heavily involved in the storyline, or is he only going to be involved at that point, whenever he's on what appears to be either Sakaar or whatever it was well, the plan? As I understand it, I mean... Um, uh, wait, John Cena's in this too? Uh, doing what? What? John, John Cena's in this film. Good, good lad. Fact, fact find that, Virgo. Uh, they take, they're taking like, you know, because it's an arena and they're going to have people to fight. Yeah, they're they're taking heroes from plants around. So at some point they've taken, obviously, they've taken Thor from uh, Asgard. They've taken Hulk from uh, Earth. They've also taken, apparently they've taken John Cena. I don't know. I, he's I playing think a John card. Cena's... He's obviously playing a card. He's not going to be playing fucking John Cena. I think Cena. he's playing a version of himself. Ah. Uh, I don't... No, I swear to God, I remember reading this and I thought, I mean, no, I that's imagine, bullshit. I could imagine a, a series of, like they getting like different fighters uh, actually to play alien characters that actually might be representations of characters from the Marvel Universe. It'd be pretty cool to see John Cena playing like a, a random Marvel alien. Um, <laughs> actually, it would be, if you remember... Um, uh, you know what, there's an alien I think he might be ground for. I can't remember the exact name, but if you remember in the, the X-Men cartoon TV show, the Phoenix Saga... There was like the blue guy, he's almost like Superman to an extent. He was like yeah. an Imperial Guard. I can, I can imagine John Cena playing him actually. Yeah. I just can't remember the, the, the character. The Centurion, name. I think he might have been called or something. Yeah. He's oh, actually, the, oh. John Cena is actually in the movie as he's yeah. credited. Come on, for it. If he, let, check the cast list. If he's on, on the, IMDb. If he's on the cast list on IMDb, it'll also give his character name. And if it gives his character name, then um, um, I could probably, I could, I, if I know which uh, one it is. Well, this article says that the IMDb page states that John Cena will be appearing as himself. <laughs> as himself? Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. All right. I'm, in that case, he's not appearing in the arena. He's up here somewhere else. Uh, Fuck, him. Be... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck him. Don't care. Don't care. Don't I mean, care. if you're going to have someone. Some... If he's playing as himself, he can eat my ass. I mean, if you're going to have someone appear, like, a, as a wrestler in, in this film, as a cameo, or even we guessing. Put the rock in there, for fuck's sake, you know, just... I get Dwayne Johnson in, yeah, or get, get fucking... Uh, do you want know what, give The Undertaker another chance at movies? Yes. <laughs> he's, reti he's retired from the... Uh, he's retired from the WWE. We've captured the greatest uh, fighters of your planet. We have Stone Cold Steve Austin. He you could I'm you put not him going in, out there. You put him in as an undead warrior, a skeleton warrior of some sort, and bam, there you go. <laughs> you got the, you got a story, you got a plot, you got an idea. That would be entertaining, guys. But no, they instead you put John Cena why playing not, himself. Why not put Hulk Hogan in there, playing, continuing to play his character from Suburban Commando? That would actually work. <laughs> that would work. That would actually work. Jesus Christ! Uh, <laughs> a space bounty hunter. Space bounty hunter. He could uh, put him beside, put him beside John Cena uh, as a, as you know, another space bounty we're hunter. So far off of the content that we saw in the trailer. I know, I know. <laughs> but there's a lot in the trailer. You know, you can like, pick it down. You can break it down. Oh, this is the thing. You know, what do you oh, think? Of the, what do you think of the design of the villain, Hella? Oh, Jesus Christ! Hot as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Hot as fuck and terrifying. Kate, Kate, and hot as fuck. Kate Blanchett. Yeah, terrifying. And hot, which is not a bad thing. 
Is it actually? It's like it's on the Vicky Dement Mendoza diagonal, and it? it's actually like the crazy hot <laughs> diagonal. Is, is that, that the way uh, what was that out of? Uh, How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother. Yeah, there's a certain the amount of crazy and a certain amount of hotness and blah blah blah. Is it lying? But no, Kate Blanchett is a really good actress, and I think the role, I think she'll play the role pretty good too. Yeah. Um, she's a very attractive woman, and the the character. I mean, I, I'm trying to remember exactly what she looks like in the cartoons and comics. I think she was her lot greener stuff. Yeah, see the the big horned yep. version. Like that's what the comics prepare portrayed a lot of the time. Kind of like the Rita Repulsa of the new Power Ranger film. Yeah, yeah I suppose, actually. Well, that's what I still have yet to see myself. I've only seen her in the trailers. Spoiler um, alert. <laughs> Spoiler well, alert, the main villain. No, nah, no, nah, the main villain. She's in enough trailers. You've seen her, what she looks yeah. like. Uh, I saw the bit where she's actually crawling over the girl in the bed. I like, well, that was a bit creepy huh. and hot at the same time. It was weird. Uh, so, Thor Ragnarok. I'm looking forward to seeing this. What's the release date? I want to say November this year. I could be wrong. Fergal? October, November. Uh, it's October in the UK. Oh yeah, so we we, we get so, the wonderful week early. Suck Beautiful. It, suck it, America. <laughs> suck it. We get a week early just that's, because. That's what happens when you have Trump as a president. <laughs> that's when you show I watched Dirty Today in October. Aye. November. So that's the reason why, because we're actually watching the Marvel U- US channel. Oh. Part. That's the reason is, there, why. is there anything missing out of that trailer, Fergal? Have you seen in no. years? Exactly the same trailer. I imagine it's like yeah. they, they haven't done an international trailer for it because uh, it's... It does, this is a teaser trailer still holy shit i just realized this is a teaser trailer <laughs> yeah. so this is the first teaser trailer and they showed that much in the teaser trailer god damn man you mean you don't really need to give away that much uh... you just need to see thor you need to see him lose his hammer you need to see him go to punch the hulk and you just have to be sitting there and going for the next six months going what the fuck is going on in they this use, film they use enough experience they use enough chat they have enough sense to actually show villain show support characters show key instigate an event for him to actually go searching for things and then show a, a nice big surprise at the end. They didn't go as far as like show Doomsday because they once you show Doomsday you know what the hell happens. <laughs> you know the bad guys, yeah. yeah. Well it's not even just the bad guy, you know Superman dies because that's his only fucking thing to exist. Spoiler. Um, you know, just in case. <laughs> like, or not, to be honest, fuck, go like, fuck yourself. Don't care about the spoiler for that because you probably shouldn't have gone to see the film in the first place. Um, I want my money back. Yeah. With, with Hulk uh, dressed up as the way he is with the situation that shows at the tail end of the trailer, I'm really, really glad they're doing Planet Hulk as part of the storyline. I don't think we're going to see a lot of the setup for why Hulk's there. Essentially, mm. we're just going to hear Hulk said, I don't want to be on Earth anymore and flew off on his own into space somehow. That's what that, They're going to do that instead of doing the whole big elaborate reason why Hulk was sent up to space in the first place. He was sent up there by uh, the Illuminati to actually like try and kill him and it all fucked up and that's why he was so angry. I think they're just going to say that Hulk went, I want to be alone. And he thought he would go into space to do it, and then we're like, fuck. It's full of fear, and there's no food. <laughs> um, and it's full of aliens. I actually uh, read that Mark Gruffalo, mm-hmm. as Bruce Banner, is not appearing in the movie. Is supposed to appear in this film. All right, so it more like maybe a few minutes. It's probably going to be a flashback. Maybe sort of like the way they did it. There was very few scenes. There was very, in Planet Hulk, there was very few scenes of him as Banner. I think they're like in the cartoon. I remember like like one, and that was like the start or something. Yeah, so I think you think because he was a Hulk the entire time for it, but I think that was partially because they kind of got to that level of him as a character that he was actually not in control of the Hulk, but he was like partly Hulk at all times, which is kind of fits in with the arc of the character that we have so far that he doesn't really reage out and stop being Banner. That he's always hungry. Yeah. He's, he's, angry. He's always, always angry, angry. And the fact that he doesn't have anybody fucking with his brain this time. So I'm looking forward to seeing a intelligent Hulk in this movie. Hmm. Not, that doesn't just grunt and snarl at him. No. I do like the... F- I love the fact the Hulk. And your opponent! I don't go. I can't even wait to get out there. Let me just batter someone. Fucking fuck the door going up another couple of feet. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that, that's Warrior Hulk. No. So um, yeah, that was. That's why I would love that. I want to see Hulk actually go to toe to toe with um, what do you call him's character? Uh, Batista's character? Drax. Yeah, Drax versus Hulk would be fucking entertaining as hell. It will be entertaining, but I I, feel, I felt like in in Guardians of the Galaxy, like Drax wasn't as strong as he's he... nowhere near as strong. But the whole no. point is, Drax would still jump at him. Yeah, oh yeah, God, I. That's kind of the point. It's like Hulk would actually like just, but <laughs> no one swat him away. But he'd actually like be stabbing at him. Ha, 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 ha. Why are you not dying? <laughs> Way goes. Just uh, ping him away. So uh, Thor Ragnarok. Super looking forward to this. Looking forward to how it connects to Guardians of the Galaxy because it obviously is going to do so to bring ourselves around to the point of actually getting ourselves to Infinity Wars. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, this was... is going to be one of the first Marvel movies I think 
that's not going to have anything to fucking do with the Infinity Stones. I believe... I don't think there's we, any... have, we have all of them. Uh, yeah. So we I don't, don't think need, in We this. don't need another movie to actually deal with the Infinity Stones. There's still one. If there's still one... I don't want to, I don't want another fucking fetch quest. Well what have we got left? I mean like, Dr. Strange said the time stone. Yeah, there's five of them. So, um And the last one probably you're just they're just gonna do that in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, more likely. Because more than likely they're gonna have Thanos actually like get that gem and say, Where's the rest? <laughs> and then go off to get them. That's or what the premise that is. I will do it myself. Yeah, right. he, right, he's already got the glove, so he's already yeah. just, he's, he's on a quest now to just put them all into it. So with Thor Ragnarok, this is actually going to be something to do with Thor's backstory, with the Asgardians' backstory, and nothing to do with the fucking gems directly. They're not going to have like a key event where we're like we hold hands together and we control the gem. <laughs> we're not going to have like oh we're going to destroy part of London as the gem converges on itself. Let we're me not jump in to... some water and I can see my visions again. Yeah, we're, 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 like, we're, thankfully we'll actually have a story that stands on its own without like, even Doctor Strange depends on the fucking gemstone in the Eye of Agamemnon. It's like. A, all of the movies so far have really <laughs> depended on going to find the thing that's going to set up the thing to do the thing. This is just a thing. We can go and see the thing. <laughs> You're right, Dark Virgo. You just fall off that chair. Oh, okay, so let's <laughs> one more time. I just want. I don't. The only thing I don't want is the thing to be in this thing. We don't need Fantastic Four. No thing. Actually, it'd be funny just to have like four people walk around the background and there's like this rock creature and you're like, oh, it's a thing in the thing. <laughs> this is a hand. <laughs> God, uh, you know, this looks really, uh, this, I mean, and the funny thing is, in four, less than four weeks from now, yeah. three weeks specifically, specifically, whatever, specific time, um, <laughs> <laughs> we have Guardians of the Galaxy out. Yeah. Two. Sorry. And that's out on the 28th of April, I think. Uh, yeah, for us, it's the last week of April, so. Yeah. We get, do we get this again early before yeah, we America? Do. We, we, pretty much all the Marvel movies, we get a week early. Damn, what are we do? What are we doing in the UK to deserve this? What do we do? Did, I think it's because the release window. Did they feel bad for us? Like, would we, we vote on Brexit? Yeah. Well, no, I think it's more the fact it's been every single one. <laughs> so it's the majority just, but... of them are actually filmed over here. Yeah. Way. Ah, well, that okay. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the, a lot of post production houses do work on them here. Uh, there are a lot of them filming over here, and it's also because of uh, a lot of it is actually filmed in windows. Europe too. Yeah, it's release windows uh, for the states. Huh. Because they can, uh, if, because they release it on the Thursday for here, but I think it's a Tuesday in the states for the beginning of their. The fuck is wrong week. with that? So that's why the loop over. Because huh. they can't. Because if they didn't release it this week, they'd be releasing it a week late. Over here, I and then they wouldn't sense. get they wouldn't get their opening weekend. Uh, fair enough. Uh, Gardens of the Galaxy UK releases twenty eighth April. Yes. North America twenty eighth. We are sitting on the tenth. We're so eighteen days away. Yeah, so less I'm than three weeks. I'm looking forward to that one. That'll be that'll be a, an IMAX experience for me. I'm going to go probably because space things in on IMAX, IMAX is fucking amazing. Always looks cool. I give myself a migraine trying to do it with Star Wars. I just need VIP to pass. Hate you guys. I hate you guys. Also, I hear that there's some scenes specifically. I'm not going to get past that word. Shot for IMAX that you won't see in the normal film. Really? I think so. Eh? Cool. Well, they do tend like even with things like Dark Knight. You check this. Even things like Dark Knight, they do <laughs> shoot a version of it. Uh, they have a version of the scene in the movie, but they don't do the IMAX shot. Sorry to make you work there, Frigo. They don't do the IMAX shot, but they do yeah. have a version of it in the film. Apparently, Doctor Strange, uh, was there was the scene or two in it that was shot for IMAX, IMAX. that just wouldn't wouldn't pull across the scene. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's where I'm wrong. That there's not, it's not specific scenes uh, that won't the be shots. included in the full specific shots, the way they're, they're done. Yeah. Um, but... I mean, I, I only seen that in the last oh, couple of yeah, days. Actually, no, I can imagine what runs they were as well because you just get that scope. Oh, yeah. Look at yeah, that trippiness. Yeah. That whole trippy scene in Doctor Strange. Well, specifically, do you know like, the end battles where they, the, the city starts to fall down on itself? Oh. Do you know what? You, you, you probably saw, like, the edges of it all, but when you're actually, like, in the IMAX one, you're looking at the full fucking city just literally folding around and stuff. You see the corners. Oh, yes. Tim Fergal. Sorry, this is absolutely nothing. Yeah, don't worry, no, as long as I've I just phone. read it and thought it was interesting. Not stop me from talking about something completely different. Uh, by the way, I really got off track because it's not about Thor. It's okay. Guardians of the Galaxy. All right, yes, well, that's fine. It's we're actually still, still talking going. about Marvel. It's all good. Guardians of the Galaxy is the first film ever to be shot with an 8K resolution camera. Jesus Christ. Huh. Cool. Can <laughs> can they, were they shooting into the future with that fucking quality? Oh, God. Oh, the 8K, I mean, essentially. Oh, uh, no. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, so essentially you're using an AK sensor or picking up an AK image, just to, it means that they have so much fucking clarity, so much control over it whenever they do post-production stuff that 
we're probably like I mean you're never going you're not going to be able to tell the stuff that's actually going to be CG'd and well not the fact you'll be able to tell because it'd be fucking space aliens <laughs> but I mean uh, little little you mean that raccoon isn't talking hands. to me yeah. it's clearly real I don't know. the little intricate things like actually like scale and scope it's actually really like <laughs> will be a lot weirder because they actually can shoot something so that they're so small but actually expand to the point where you're actually looking at them in really high clarity and really close up because oh, like essentially if, if you're if you take an AK image. And then you look at it in 1080p, mm. you can actually, like, an 8K image, scale wise, I, I can't even do it because our green screen space is too small for me to actually expand and show. Well, say but this is like. Say it was know. 1080p, 1080p would be this box, and you can move that box around the 8K image, <laughs> like fucking Pong. God damn. Right? <laughs> to actually make it, like, frame <laughs> the image in any way you want. So if they go and shoot, like, a big, wide open public scene, something that's all on a planet that has a big, massive set, you literally they can just, like, zoom into any part they want. You do realize from now on, 1080p is going to stand for 10. 1080 Pong. 1080 Pong. 1080 Pong. It's just moving around. 1080 Pong inside an 8K arena. <laughs> the, it, 1080 Pong in the 8K arena. I actually, like, that was actually a title for a chapter in a book. Oh, yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. So, guys, thank you very much Patent for pending. listening to us ramble Patent on. Pending. Patent pending. <laughs> We've been watching Thor Ragnarok. This is the first teaser trailer. We'll be looking forward to doing, um, probably, we'll probably do a midnight review or something like that of Guardians of the Galaxy whenever it comes out. We'll probably do oh, yeah. a, a retrospective look on it, especially in relation to how it's going to fit in with this. Yep. But uh, Thor Ragnarok, I'm looking forward to seeing this movie. Um, it's, I really enjoy the Thor series, so I want it to have... I want the Thor trilogy to actually kind of have a proper big fuck-off send-off because it's one of my favourite series in the Marvel well, Universe. I mean, uh, like... Our, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is not signed on for another... He's not signed on for official Iron Man 4. That's why he's only... Uh, appearing sort of in all being, the movies. Appearing in all the movies. Yeah. So, like, is Thor going that way? Are we going to not get a fourth Thor film? Will this kill the Thor franchise? I don't think it'll kill the Thor franchise, but it's a very high possibility that they might actually change Thor because they've done it in the comics. And it might, that's something they might do in the years from now, but Hemsworth might, will probably play Thor in another couple of the movies as a guest appearance for a while, and then at some point they'll actually activate the plot. Because Chris is only, like, in his 30s? Yeah, I mean, he could, he's got plenty of time to do so, and he's actually got plenty of other work to be doing. But again, no matter what, time is the enemy of all things. Like, there's a reason why we only have, we're not going to have a Hugh Jackman play in plus, anymore. Plus, I was actually going to say that. Plus, you know, Chris Hemsworth is Australian. So, I mean, how long's Thor run around already? I mean, you can play him for another 17 years easily. Because, uh, well, yeah. Hugh Jackman's what? 800? He's 900 years old, <laughs> yeah. He actually is 900 years old. Well, I mean, that, he's that probably the, 900, but. I mean, Hugh but Jackman's... the only problem is, like, the older Hugh Jackman gets, the more he ends up looking like um... Old Man Logan. No, not not like Old Man Logan. Um, other Australian actor. Oh, Paul Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> Mel Gibson. <laughs> Mel Gibson. The fact that the older he gets, he looked more. He looks like Mel Gibson. <laughs> he's just going to go through. Steve every... Irwin. <laughs> Oh, they God. all apply. They all I think, I think, I think on that note, that's where we we have the we have the stop now. <laughs> yeah. uh, on on that note, on that, on that bombshell. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been Thor Ragnarok here for an episode of Hype Train. Um, hope to see you again very soon for another episode. Make sure to check back really again soon. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, hi. One thing I forgot. Hit the subscribe button. Yes. No, that's oh. the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the angle right. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more stuff here on the channel. And if you want to see any other videos on the Hype Train series, the Hype the Train. Heads. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Or in the next movie, really. Goodbye from me. Goodbye, goodbye from him. And goodbye from Fergal. Bye. Bye.